friends, and welcome to another video. I'm here with Jesse Page, who is a YouTuber and resident expert of dyed hair. Thank you for being here today, Jesse. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and Jesse has thankfully agreed to join me in what I'm calling the Mad Dash Clothing Pass. Beautiful name. We're working on it. It's a working <laughs> no, like title. It. <laughs> it's a working title. <laughs> so previously, I've done a couple of videos shopping while blindfolded, in which I wanted to test how using other senses like fate and deductive reasoning would suit me while shopping. But today is all about instincts. When you are presented with very little time to make a decision, where does your gut lead you? So we're gonna be putting our fashion instincts to the test and buying a five item outfit in three minutes. So I thought it'd be really fun for Jesse and I to do this together because we have pretty different styles and probably pretty different fashion instincts. As you're wearing all black and I'm literally wearing rainbow. Like, <laughs> I like color. Ah, and that's where we diverge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so here are the rules. Five items roughly shakes down to 36 seconds per item. But to keep everything simple, we're not gonna include like travel time in between the stores or like time in line. The clock will only be going when we're actually like shopping and choosing. Additional rules include no sprinting. I feel like we may start a panic if we just start running. Um, but like power walking is like totally fair. And also we're gonna be going to a different store for each item. So five stores all together. One more thing. Jesse told me that she's going on a date later today. Uh, turns out I'm also going on a date later today. Right, Tyler? What? So I thought it'd be a fun framing for our challenge to try and find a date outfit that you don't have to wear on your date tonight, but you could. I kind of want to. That's a story. That's a conversation. There you go, exactly. Challenge accepted. All right. A date night outfit in three minutes or less. Let's do it. There goes my chances at a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're at the mall now. Magic, we're here. So where are you guys going on your date? So we're going to a friend's birthday party. Not the first date. <laughs> not the first date? Okay, yeah. good. So it's not just like first impressions, this is it. Like what's the venue sort of thing? It's formal. She has a carpet for a party. Uh -oh. oh, so this is like dressed up. Where are we going, Ty, for our date? Us? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I because I need to decide my vibe. Well, I'll put it this way, I'll be wearing gym shorts. Okay, so we're going to a nice restaurant Nice then. restaurant, yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try and do something more romantic than I usually do. I'm gonna say romantic. So we're gonna, I think, go top, bottom, jacket, shoe and then accessory of some kind, kind of like a, right. a, a lady's choice at the end there, whatever you want. So the first store we're gonna go to is Forever 21. It feels like a good place to start. There's a lot of options. All right, let's go. Do you have 36 seconds on the clock? Ready and go. Okay, go. So when we first like ran into Forever 21, I kind of like forgot what we were doing for a second. I literally like my mind went blank. I was like, hello. <laughs> and then all I could see around me were just like jackets and sweaters. It's all sweaters. And so I like panicked and like ran further back into the store being like, where are any of the normal shirts? I also experienced the same thing with the jackets and the, the sweaters. And I was like, oh shoot, no, it's like, it's a party. So I need something a bit more dressed up. And I saw sparkles and I ran. I was also thinking at the same time, like I didn't want to pick something black because I always go for all black everything. So I guess I was working against my fashion instincts there, but I was like, no, I need to find something else. I thought it was funny when um, there was one point where we both crossed paths and you gave me this look of like, we got this. I didn't even know that I did that. <laughs> you did, it was really cute. <laughs> I found one top that I liked, it was silver, but I just latched onto it like it was a stuffed animal. And I was like, it's mine. And then I kept looking for something else. You have 10 seconds. This is a dress, it's not a top. You got 10 seconds to do it. Really? I ended up next to like a rack of shirts and just picked up a blue shirt. I guess I'm going with blue. No. Eight, two, one. And then suddenly time was over. This works. I actually like it. Okay. It reminds me of something I would wear for ice skating when I was younger. I'm not disappointed. It was weird. It both felt like zero time at all and also like a lot of time. Like I was like floating through space. I'm proud of you. You wanted the colors. This kind of matches your hair. I was going to say that. I'm always down for some blue. And this kind of matches my single gray hair. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> no, girl. <laughs> okay, so tops from Forever 21. Chick. All right, so for the bottoms, we're gonna go to Urban. Yeah. Finding a size in 36 seconds. We'll see how that goes. Round two, the pants. 
All right, ready and go. Oh. Ooh. Alrighty. So when we first walked into Urban Outfitters, I saw to my right immediately a bunch of pants that were like loose, wide leg pants that seemed to have like different patterns and colors. And I was like, ooh, that could be interesting. So I basically beelined straight for this display on the right. Oh yeah, these are awesome. This is an early choice for me. And then like walked around a couple of times, saw all the pants that were there. Oh, this could be cool too. So in my mind is like, okay, I want a blue skirt. So I got in there with that, um, with that plan and then there were no blue skirts, except for jean skirts, which I felt like wouldn't be dressy enough. I quickly grabbed onto three different skirts. One of them was magenta. The other one was like an orangey brown. You have five seconds. And I think the last one was a dark brown. Which one's more high-waisted? One and... All right, time to make a decision. Um, I decided to go for the orangey color, which is like, I would never have gone for that typically because I realized the other skirts weren't high-waisted and I was wearing a crop top. These ones are more high-waisted. I'm going with the stripes. So I picked up these black stripey pajama pants. <laughs> It's almost like a maxi dress, but surprise, they're pants. I did end up picking something black, but it has stripes. It has stripes. It's hey. okay, you color on top. And I felt also like my instincts were like, all right, so if we have one thing that is colorful, the rest of it can be black, who cares? <laughs> I thought your skirt was really cute, but it definitely like wasn't what you had described looking for. It was interesting. It definitely made the rest of the outfit a bit of a challenge because you have warm and cool tones and like this sparkly New Year's looking top. And then this skirt reminded me a lot of like autumn, but it was exciting. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go for the jacket to Zara. So Jesse has a shot to sort of dress this thing up. Item number three, the jacket. Let's go. So when we walked into Zara, I once again kind of forgot what we were doing. With Zara, it was like many mannequins. And I was like, ooh shiny. So I literally kind of forgot and I was just like, oh, that's cute. I was like, wait, no, I need a jacket. Damn it. So I sort of veered off to the left just to sort of like look on the wall because at Zara, there was also a lot of stuff on the walls. Yes. So I saw black leather jackets in the back and I was like, ooh, that's cool. I was about to go and run to those. And then on the way in, I saw this um, kind of like a, like a fitted long blazer. I just grabbed it on the way in case I didn't make it to the leather jackets in time. And I did make it to the leather jackets. And then right at the end, I was like, you know what? I grabbed this first. There must be a reason for that. Oh, what's this? 10 seconds. I guess I'm going with this. I don't even know what this is. So I grabbed randomly this large cardigan looking thing with like faux fur. This is the only thing I could find. There. Oh, Ready? too late. Time's up. The thing is the jacket's not like bad. Like it's not like, oh, it's a horrible jacket. I just, yeah. I would never have thought of it for my outfit at all. It kind of looks like a fuzzy blanket though. It looks like a uh, socially acceptable Snuggie. Yes. Okay, we're at time. So I have these two and the thing is this is really cool, but I also own a black leather jacket already. I'm gonna go with my first choice. This is the first thing that I picked up, so I'm gonna assume that happened for a reason, and I'm gonna go with this. The browns matched, like the skirt matched with the jacket. I felt like the jacket was really gonna be the thing that would like save the outfit and make the two very different pieces work together. I think it's a cool blazer, to be honest. I thought it was super cool. Yeah, okay, so those are our jackets from Zara. So shoes are next. Yeah, so we're gonna head into H&M. What size shoe are you? A nine and a half, 10. Same. So okay. we're both gonna be in the same section. All right, so the shoes were pretty far back in the store, so we came back here, you know, just so we don't run anyone over trying to get in. Yeah. But they're right behind us, so we're gonna turn around, start the clock, and pick a pair. 36 seconds, and start. Go. Oh. So when we started the 30 seconds, I just immediately started looking for sizes that would work. From what I could see, there were some like plain black boots or booties that would have probably worked, but I like didn't want just like a plain black boot. I wanted like something a little more interesting. This is hard. And I saw a corner that was shining silver and I went for it. When I started looking for shoes, I also paid a lot of attention to size right away. There were really cool black boots that um, had like a three inch heel. They were, they were booties, like that type of look. However, I could not find them in my size. 8.5, 8.5. And then at the bottom, I found um, black knee-high boots. Yeah, those are kind of cute. 
10 seconds. I started looking through these silver shoes and none of them were my or our size at all. They're not my size in anything. And then underneath the silver shoes, was a silver and black speckled pair of booties with like a low chunky heel. And there was only one of them. And I was like, oh, this isn't gonna be my size. Whoa. It's a nine and a half. Are you serious? Yeah. Whoa. So I was like, well, it doesn't even matter if I didn't like these because I have to have these because these are the only ones in my hands. I think I'm going to go with these. They're knee high boots that are in my size for once. I actually was, really happy with the shoes. I think that for the shoes, it was a lot more about like what was there and what we could find rather than yeah. instinct. But I'm pretty happy with the silver shoes. Like I, I was happy to get something that wasn't just like a plain black booty. And I was just like, all right, we're going with it. We're getting accessories next. Yes. So we're going to Top Shop. The fun part. So for our last item, we went for a freestyle accessory. Anything that we wanted, basically. All right, ready, set. So early in the day, we were talking about how we kept seeing these train conductor hats. Yeah, absolutely. It's like a sort of like mid 2000s Lizzie McGuire hat. Yes. So I found two hats. I also found a black beret and I found the train conductor hat. In my head, I immediately was like, okay, so my outfit is black, blue, green, and silver. So I need something that's got some blue, hopefully some silver, that'd be awesome. And as soon as we walked in, I saw a little bag that had like green leaves on it, like embroidered. And I was like, that's interesting. So I picked that up and then I sort of turned around doing a scan of the store. And I saw on a little table with a lot of other bags, a small bag that had like dragonfly shaped rhinestones on it, basically. All right, so I was looking for something green to tie out all together. They both have green in them, but I think this green is closer to my shirt, right? 10 seconds. The black beret was cool, but I had never worn one of the different styles of hats. We literally actually had a conversation about these hats while we were in between stores and how they're really trendy right now. So I'm going to get this hat. I think it'll match with the shoes and it'll really like fit the whole outfit together. Five, four. The only one I've had extra time for. This is what we're going with. So what did you do with that time left over? Because I've never experienced that. I just looked at them. This Something's what... beautiful about that. Exactly. Yeah. I said yes to the bag. So with our accessories, that completes our three minute outfits. All right, so we're back now. Uh, we have our outfits in their bags downstairs, and I think we should go try them on. Jessie's not saying anything, she's just making I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they'll be good. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, my bag just fell off. <laughs> you look great. Oh, you look comfortable. I'm great. <laughs> Jesse, what do you think of yours? Okay, I would never typically wear this outfit or pick it out, but I really like it. This is kind of almost like a British look. I was gonna say a stylish newspaper boy. Yeah! <laughs> right? A newspaper boy that is like working for the higher end newspaper. What do you think is like your favorite part about it? Like which item mm. is your favorite? Either the jacket or the hat. They both were things that I was unsure of at the end as to which item I was gonna get. I'm gonna challenge myself today. Who knows if it's gonna work? Wish me luck. <laughs> I mean, it's early to say, but Jesse, do you think it's date worthy? I think for this event, it might be a bit odd, but <laughs> I think for like just a general date night, I feel like this could work. As for you, Soph, you think this is a date outfit? Listen, Tyler, I don't care if you think it's a date night outfit or not, because I'm wearing it on our date. <laughs> I don't think that the fluffy jacket was an outfit ruiner, but it definitely took over the outfit. Like it definitely is steering it in like a specific direction. I think you look a little bit like, like a glamorous Beverly Hills mom. I was gonna say like a rich housewife that's about to go see the Nutcracker. Yes, and I have to go on a date with that. <laughs> take her to the Nutcracker. <laughs> I love taking it to the ballet. See, that voice works with this outfit. But I think that overall, it's interesting. It's not something I would usually pick out either. It's a little uh, abstract. Yes. Avant-garde. The things that are competing in my outfit are like the pants and the jacket. So I feel like I would literally wear this outfit just with like tighter jeans or something, or this without the jacket. Your top does match Jesse's hair. A little bit, like it, it kind of works. Look at this, it's my bag and my top and Jesse's head. Do I go on the date too now? Yes. <laughs> screw that other guy, screw Jesse. The, screw the other guy, screw the party. I'm going, I'm going, I'm nutcracker. So I'd say this was part style challenge, part running around, a little bit of brisk power walking, but nobody got hurt. So I think that we both won today, Jesse. <laughs> exactly, and my dignity might still be uh, saved for the state. Well, thanks for doing this today with me, Jesse. I'm sorry I made you spend so much and get so little time at the mall. Make sure to check out Jesse's channel. I've linked it in the description below. She recently copied the entire cast of Stranger Things Instagrams for a week. Almost entire cast. Almost entire <laughs> cast. Kind of, actually, 
Not at all. <laughs> half of the cast. <laughs> Not even half. A few members of the cast of Stranger Things. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Lucy for watching. Thanks for watching, Lucy. And I'll see you guys next time.